my people what we have been waiting for is finally out the court has finally given a verdict concerning the dna test between aloba's family and Wumi's family it is going to be heard in court we are going to know if this dna is going to be done or not i'll put the audio for you to listen guys but before i do that if you are just joining me in this channel for the very first time you're very much welcome please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever i publish any latest video let's listen to the audio guys so they will be doing the sitting and uh, barrister odumosu is still in charge of this case so on the 16th of April, that will be on Tuesday, there is going to be hearing on the issue of paternity of uh, mobile. It is different from Corona inquest. This is not a Corona inquest issue. So um, that is that. So then secondly, the new son, that is a Wahib Sh uh, Wahab Shitu, um, the, the son that is coming on board, is uh, hopefully, hopefully by God grace, Coloma Ileri, he is going to be on ground by himself on the 15th at Corona Inquest. And then also, this uh, Wahab Shitu is the one to coordinate the private investigator that has been approved, you know, by the uh, by Aloba family. That is, he, he has been approved to coordinate the private investigator and he has been approved to coordinate the private autopsy you know the private toxicology and the rest that they want to do so that he can be able to compare the results with the result that the government will be bringing for us so uh, another thing i would have loved to say is involving money you know vis-a-vis -vis, um the amount of money expended to get approval of this face-off between ogumba and your family and the uh, aloba family on the issue of paternity so in the court the argument from baba mubad to get dna done and the argument of mumi that dna is not needed will be decided in court so the judge will look at the two arguments and you know um what do you call it and give a judgment that having listened to the both sides i hereby rule that the issue of dna should be cancelled Mm -hmm. Having lived to the both sides, I have a rule that the issue of the you know DNA should be sustained and it should be conducted. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the judge will be saying regarding DNA. So let's see what will happen on the 16th. Like I said before the end of the show, I'm going to announce the few So this is the little for now, and uh, we have to move on. Then um, I am going to be bringing. Mr. Muiwa up today. Mr. Muiwa, uh, please, I don't know if you are here or maybe I should try to call him later. He has to come and clear a lot of things. And uh, against all hot, all of these things, Bala Blue from different platforms, trying to pull a very good effort down, saying Mr. Muiwa is the reason for all the gas bills. I don't think we need to accept that. So in order for that not to remain or not to, not to look like original, he really needs to come and address himself. The one he went to do on uh, the other place from that time, that people were trying to pick errors from what he said, it he, 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 he was caught on a way. It's not everybody that have oration prowess. It's not all of us that can speak like this. Some can even do more than I do. Some cannot do like I do. And even me, this is me. I don't want to be like anybody. Just to be like West Swadipi Adejuma. That is who I am. It is going to be a lot of family factors for me. They want to address the issue. The truth is that Wumi is really scared to do the DNA because she knows very well that that child is no mobile child. That is why she is scared. And that is why she will pick an argument with a lot of family. Just for her not to do that DNA so that the truth will not come out then we are still praying and we are still hoping that no matter how she try to do it no matter the because she can go to any length she can bribe anybody she can corner anybody to her side it's only god that will help because nigeria itself is corrupt the people living in it they are also corrupt just because of little money will just enter into their hands and all something they will change the own narrative 
they will turn the case against the person. So as consigned people, as people that are fighting for justice for Mubad, let's keep praying and hoping that justice will be served. No matter how they try to bend it, God will not allow them to win this battle. Whether she like it or not, that DNA is a must. Because the general public are crying for that DNA. It's not as if maybe the DNA is very, very, as in, if they didn't do the DNA, something will happen. No. But we want to know what by Mobad. We want to know if it's because of that child that Mobad was spied. We want to know who did it. And we want to know where they did it. Wumi refused to tell us the truth. That is why this whole thing looks as if there is no headway. Wumi knows the truth. That is why she's refusing to tell the public what really happened. She knows very well what happened. Even her sister Nakarima, she has withdrawn herself. I know that is just a plot to make people think that the old justice or more bad will come. This family, eh, seriously, they know what they are doing. They know what they are doing. That is why they are doing it as if eh, they are doing it as if they don't. They know what they are doing. Though. We should not just take those people lightly at all. Those people are green snake under a green grass. They are trying so hard to shut the mouth of so many people. Bribing so many people. But people, some people are still good in this country, you know. Like the other person that came out to say, Bumi sent them money just to bribe them, but he refused it. He refused it. It's not because maybe he has the money too much, but he just wants to fight for the truth. That is how Nigeria government is supposed to react to this incident. Because people are crying for justice. They are crying. It's not as if Mobad is related to us. Mobad is not related to us. But we have to put a stop to this kind of things happening. Because we don't know who is the next tomorrow. We don't know if our children will be a victim. God forbid we not pray for such. So that is why we are fighting just to make sure that this whole nonsense will stop in this country. Judges, I want you to know that people are watching. People are watching. You have to judge this matter right. And the lawyers that are collecting money from Wumi and doing nonsense, you people should take you people should behave yourself. Seriously, you guys need to behave yourself. Because there is something that they call karma. It can happen at any time. You know? So nobody is praying for any bad thing to happen. So that is why we should trade with caution. That is why we should not use our lives and other lives to play basketball. Our life is so precious. Somebody cannot just come and buy someone and we will be looking at that person. And will be just so that that kind of thing will continue in Nigeria. We don't want it. And God is going to listen to us. God is going to listen to our cry. And that justice, we must get it no matter what. No matter how hard they try. So guys, on the 16th is the day. On the 16th is the day that we are going to know if they are going to do the DNA or they are not going to do it. But with our prayer and support, God will intervene. The DNA test will be done. Let's know what is playing. 
so guys what do you think about this whole issue please drop your comment in the comment section of this video and if you are just joining my channel for the very first time you are very much welcome please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever i upload any latest video i will not fail to appreciate all my subscribers thank you very much for subscribing and to my returning viewers thank you very much for viewing my videos guys don't forget to share this video and give this video a super thumbs up this is Light News Media guys. I will see you in the next video.